Hi guys, welcome back to Danger Rock Toy Reviews here. Today I'm going to be reviewing the 2004 Toy Biz 12 inch superposable Spider-Man. So this Spider-Man came out um, during the Spider-Man 2 movie 2004, which in my opinion is my favorite Spider-Man movie. But this figure is several years old now, and I believe compared to what we get today, it still really holds up. I really like the size of this guy. I really like the sculpt and everything with the silver web lines on him. And what's cool about this guy is he has really good articulation. So uh, right now I'm going to show you some of his details that if you look closely at the spider on his chest and you see the silver lines around, um, those are actually sculpted in there. They're not just painted, which I think is really cool. And I know his costume's supposed to be red and blue, but they tried to go with a darker shade of blue and it kind of looks like it's black. But aside from that, I, I still think the color on everything in this is really good. Now I got this guy loose, so I don't have a box to him or anything, but um, I just wanted to show you guys how awesome he looks and his articulation. So his head rotates a full 360. His, he has posable arms that move all the way around. His wrist swivels. He has elbow joints. He has uh, movement in his hands and fingers. Um, same thing with uh, this side. And he has rotation in his chest. His chest goes all the way around. And at his waist, he can also turn a full 360. Now, um, his feet right here, um, he has leg joints that can move all the way around and all the way back. And he also has movement right here in his, um, not, not just in his um, knees, but also at the start of his legs, his legs fully rotate and so do his um, feet, and he has movement in his, um, not his toes, but right all the way at the bottom of his feet. Same goes for this side. I really like the um, the articulation on this guy. He, you could get him to stand up in a cool pose, like a whipping pose or a wall crawling pose. I just really like him in, in, in general. I think he's an awesome Spider-Man. Now, if we um, put him back here, I'm going to do some comparisons. Um, here we have an accessory that came with a Marvel Select uh, Spider-Man. This one I think is really cool because it has shadowing effects. But if I just put him right there. Here we have the Titan Hero Series Spider-Man. Here we have um, one of those Toy Biz Play School Light Spider-Mans. Here we got Spidey and his amazing friends. Here we have a basic Hasbro Spider-Man. Here we got a McDonald's toy Spider-Man. Here we have one of those um, Marvel Minis Spider-Mans. I forget if this was an um, Imagine X or Fisher Price or whatever that was. And here we have one of those um, three, three quarter inch Spider-Mans with scuba gear. He has a mask that comes off. Um, he has some pretty good articulation. Um, he also has like this uh, play feature and everything. But he's still a really cool Spider-Man. 
Let me set him aside. And here we have the 90s black costume Spider-Man. And here we have the spider armor mark one from toy biz so just to kind of um give you guys a uh, size comparison um, of all these different spider-man figures i truly believe that the uh toy biz spider-man 2 is is definitely up there in terms of great spider-man figures I also have some others like Marvel Legends and stuff. I want to be doing um, um reviews on soon. But um, uh, guys, if you like this video and you like Spider Man and you like Toy Biz and Hasbro figures, um, give me a like and subscribe because when you do that, it'll sh share this video with other YouTubers and um, it it really helps me out so I can keep these reviews going so thumbs up if you like spider-man thumbs up if you like action figure reviews thumbs up if you like this review guys and i'll see you on the next video review danger rock out